Bellevue Plus terminals are operator interface devices that run HMI machine level applications in an industrial environment. There are different versions available of these terminals, such as the PanelView Plus 6, the PanelView Plus 7 standard, and the PanelView Plus 7 performance. These terminals connect to the controller and other devices through Ethernet IP. A PanelView Plus terminal needs to be configured before you use it. This configuration is carried out in the following situations. Before communicating with a controller over an Ethernet IP network. After installing the terminal in a panel. While preparing to work with applications on the terminal. In this lesson, you will learn how to Configure a PanelView Plus terminal. Describe the functions of a PanelView Plus terminal's hardware components. Set up a PanelView Plus terminal's connections and startup options. Here is a list of topics in the lesson. It is recommended you view the topics in the suggested order. PanelView Plus terminals are operator interface devices that run HMI machine level applications in an industrial environment. A panel view terminal is connected to a computer device and a controller. The applications that the terminal runs are designed using the Factory Talk View ME software. The panel view plus 7 operator terminals are optimized for use in applications such as individual machines or small processes, machine level monitoring and control, and operator interaction. Here is a quick tip you need to know. PanelView 5000 terminals are programmed with Studio 5000 View Designer and are outside the scope of this module. The PanelView Plus terminals incorporate features that make the device versatile. For example, its message displays help a user understand the status of an operation ongoing in the user's industrial environment. It also displays messages regarding system health and alarms. Indications, such as a system failure or changes in the condition of a machine or a process, can be signaled in the form of an alarm on the terminal. A graphic view of a site in an industry can be visually presented in the form of animations on the terminal, which can extend to multiple screens. There are two versions of the PanelView Plus 7 terminals, PanelView Plus 7 Standard and PanelView Plus 7 Performance. Both these terminals have touchscreen display. The PanelView Plus 7 performance terminals additionally include a keypad next to the touchscreen. Industries that require simple applications use PanelView Plus 7 standard, whereas PanelView Plus 7 performance is used for more complex applications. PanelView Plus standard size ranges from 4 to 15 inches, and it supports 25 displays and 200 alarms whereas the size of the PanelView Plus 7 performance terminals ranges from 6.5 to 19 inches, and they support 300 displays and 400 alarms. PanelView Plus 7 standard connects to one control logix or compact logix controller via Ethernet IP only. PanelView Plus 7 performance connects using Ethernet IP via an embedded switch as in a device level ring. As the PanelView Plus 7 standard and performance terminals roll out, you will still continue to see other terminals in the PanelView Plus line, the PanelView Plus and PanelView Plus 6 terminals. The PanelView Plus terminals support Windows CE version 4.1 and are not optimized for high performance application needs. The PanelView Plus 6 terminals support Windows CE 6.0 and are optimized for high-performance requirements of applications. As the PanelView Plus terminals are legacy products, no new components are manufactured for them, but repair options are available. The PanelView Plus 6 terminals can be identified by a redesigned external logic module, as displayed on the screen. Also, both terminals mainly communicate with other devices by using Ethernet IP. The terminals can also use other means to connect to devices, such as RS-232 and DeviceNet. Read the information on the screen and drag the correct option to the matching target space.
Depending on the model of the terminal that is installed, the PanelView Plus 6 and the PanelView Plus 7 terminals will have selected front and back panel configurations. The front panel is that portion of a graphic terminal most commonly accessed by an operator. The PanelView Plus 7 standard terminal consists of a single touchscreen on its front panel. The PanelView Plus 7 performance terminal has a touchscreen that allows operators to interact directly with the loaded application. Function keys that provide user programmable access to application-specific tasks, navigation keys that allow operators to move around an application, select objects, and perform other tasks, and a numeric keypad that allows operators to enter numeric data when required. The back panel of a terminal contains communication, power, and storage components. Click each image to know more about the back panel of the PanelView Plus 7 standard. PanelView Plus 7 Performance, and PanelView Plus 6 Terminals. Click each image to know more about the back panels. The back panel of a PanelView Plus 7 Standard Terminal consists of an SD card slot, two USB ports, an embedded Ethernet IP port, a DC power plug, status indicators, and a battery. The back panel of a PanelView Plus 7 Performance Terminal provides access to an SD card slot, status indicators, two USB ports, embedded Ethernet IP ports, and AC or DC input. The back panel of a PanelView Plus 6 Terminal consists of an SD card slot, a logic module, a default switch, a reset switch, USB ports, a serial port, a 10 or 100 base T Ethernet port, and AC or DC input. Read the information on the screen and drag each option to its matching target space. Order for a PanelView Plus terminal to retrieve information, it must be connected to a controller over a communications network. The various PanelView Plus terminals support connectivity to various networks. Once the network and devices are configured, the controller and terminal can exchange information. Click the information icon to read about the supported networks. PanelView Plus 6 and 7 terminals can be connected using one of the following protocols. The PanelView Plus 6 and the PanelView Plus 7 terminals support a range of Ethernet IP network topologies, such as STAR, LINEAR, and Device Level Ring, or DLR. The PanelView Plus 6 and the PanelView Plus 7 standard have a single Ethernet IP port. This makes them suitable for star and linear connections. The PanelView Plus 7 performance has a built-in switch that allows connection to a ring topology. The PanelView Plus 6 and PanelView Plus 7 standard terminals can be added to a DLR by using the 1783 ETAP adapter. Initially, a user needs to apply power to a PanelView Plus 7 terminal. Once the terminal has completed its power-up sequence, the Configuration Mode screen appears. This screen is used to configure terminal settings and perform other file management tasks. You will need to configure the settings on at least the following submenus. Diagnostic Setup Desktop Access Setup for the PanelView Plus 7 terminals Networks and Communications Startup Options Time, Date, Regional Settings Networks and communication is a required setting. Others are optional. Click the information icon to read about the terminal settings. From the main menu of the configuration mode screen, a user can load an application, run an application, configure or view application settings, configure or view terminal settings, delete log files before running, and reset the terminal.
In order for a terminal to communicate with an application, you need to configure its IP address, subnet, and gateway, if applicable, from the terminal settings. Some networks automatically assign IP addresses to a PanelView Plus terminal if DHCP, or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, is enabled on it. This protocol automatically assigns IP addresses to devices on a network. If DHCP is not enabled, you can manually enter an IP address for the terminal. Standard DHCP is not used widely in automation applications because devices need to maintain the same IP address. Certain Ethernet switches, such as Stratix 57, have a feature called DHCP persistence that sends the same IP address to an assigned port. Any device plugged into the port will be assigned the selected IP address. Other configurable Ethernet settings include DNS server names or IP addresses and data rate. It is important to know that for certain configuration settings, that is IP address, the terminal must be reset for the changes to take effect. PanelView Plus Terminal allows you to specify which parts of your application different operators can use. This can be done with the help of Terminal Settings option. Desktop Access Setup option is available in the Terminal Settings. Initial access to the desktop requires the default password, password. You need to reset the password or challenge question for the terminal after its first access. Here is a guided activity on how to configure terminal settings in a PanelView Plus terminal. Follow the instructions on the screen to perform the steps. Click Start when you're ready. You need to configure the PanelView Plus terminal settings. Start by configuring the desktop access setup. Now, you will configure the network and communication settings for the PanelView Plus terminal. The activity is now complete. Return to the module by clicking In this demonstration, we will configure and identify the components of a PanelView Plus 7 terminal. The touchscreen is found on the front panel of the terminal. The back panel contains the status indicators, an input power connector, the communications ports, USB ports, a speaker, and an SD card slot. USB and Ethernet or IP communications are supported by the terminal. To connect your terminal to an Ethernet or IP network, insert one end of an Ethernet cable into the Ethernet or IP port on the back panel. When a PanelView Plus 7 terminal completes its power-up sequence, the Configuration Mode screen appears. From this screen, you can load or run an application, configure or view application settings, configure or view terminal settings, delete log files, or reset the terminal. To configure the date and time for your terminal, press Terminal Settings. Select Time, Date, Regional Settings, and then press the Enter button.
The Time, Date, Regional Settings screen appears. You can select Date, Time, or Regional Settings. Press Date to open the Date screen. On this screen, you can configure the year, month, and day. When you are done, press OK. Press Time to open the Time screen. On this screen, you can configure the hour, minute, and seconds. When you are done, press OK. Press Close to return to the Terminal Settings screen. You will need to configure the network connections of your terminal. For terminals with DHCP disabled, you can manually enter an IP address. Press Terminal Settings and then press Networks and Communications. Press Network Connections and then press Network Adapters. From the Network Adapters screen, press IP Address. Press IP Address to enter the desired IP address for your terminal. Press OK when you are done. Press Subnet Mask and then enter the appropriate subnet mask for your terminal. Press the Enter button when you are done. When you have finished assigning the IP address to your terminal, press OK to save the configuration. Press OK to return to the Network Adapters screen. You will need to restart the terminal for the IP address to take effect. These are some basic configuration options. Your applications will require more specific terminal configurations. This concludes the demonstration.